How you going guys? Back again with another video today. Yeah, got a bit of time on my hands. Anyway, before I start, as you can see what this collection is going to be, I'd like to give a big shout out to a YouTuber by the name of RF Biker Scout. He has decided to, instead of just subscribe to me, he's added me to his channels, which is where other YouTubers can check him out and then see what else he's watching. And I reckon it's boosted up my views quite a bit. So thanks, mate. And I'll have another video for you pretty shortly once I find all my bits and pieces regarding the Star Wars magazines and whatnot. But anyways, let's get to this one. Um, starting at this is my Alien collection. These are all NECA series, the aliens are anyway. That's the original H.R. Geiger alien. Which is pretty cool. They don't stand up very well. But I managed to do pretty good. This one's the James Cameron alien. It's not much different except for the skull there. Or more elongated <coughs> sort of stuff all added to it. Same, same, but props to Mr. Geiger for inventing it. And then I've got a load lifter here, which does not come from NECA. This comes from a Japanese company, Kodo Bayuka, or one of those ones. The actual load lifter is cool. If you see that blue stuff in the arms, it's because they don't stay open. I don't know why. We'll sneak around the back of them, have a look. All full of wiring and crap. Nothing lights up. It's all made of metal, except for some parts of the arms. So it's pretty heavy actually for its size. Stands roughly, probably oh, about 10 inches tall. And the figure of Ripley, not that good. Looks very Asian. The figure does. Let me know if you've seen a better version of this. I wouldn't mind getting my hands on it. The load lifter itself is quite detailed. I'm quite impressed with it. The boots and all, all the writing and stuff. The figure on a scale of one to five, I give it a two. Anyways, off to my next one. The bitch is back. The Queen. Also from NECA. This is a huge scale model. Compare it to a normal scale there. She's quite large. Quite long in the tail. Head looking menacing. Try and get some nice detail there of the head. There we go. Also comes with a poor human attached to it, who goes, help me, help me. <coughs> yep, little bubby chest burster there, there we go. From Aliens, this one is from. And then I have no actual Aliens from Alien 3 or Resurrection, which is a pity. I was going to get round to them, but sadly, B other figures caught my attention. Now this one, now here's one some people will like or completely hate. The Pred Alien Hybrid from Aliens vs Predators Requiem. I quite like it. I'm sticking it with my Predator, uh, sorry, my Alien collection, as it's got more alien personalities and it has Predator personalities. As this one, all it did was seems to kill and breed, just like aliens. <clears throat> and I'll add another two to my collection here, which some will say, what? Another big fight. Picked these up very recently. These are the Prometheus figures. That's one of the engineer. Focus. There we go. Engineer without the helmet. 
and then the engineer with the helmet. People say this has nothing to do with the Alien series, but yes it does. That, that mask itself tells you it's part of the Alien series, or part of the Alien world, not the, aliens, not the Alien story. Also the Wayland Company, also the Living Variable Planets, LV-426, LV-233, blah 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 blah. I win the fight, I win the argument. They are part of the Alien series. But there you go guys. Hope you liked all this. More to show up soon. And thanks again for watching. See you next time.